Samsung has finally removed all doubts about a new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real and it's arriving soon. But now, the big question is, how does this Special Edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the Special Edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6, 239 grams. Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display, making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9, 142.6x4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5x132.6x5.6 millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The Special Edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. However, we do know the Special Edition has an 8.0 inch main display and a 6.5 inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6-inch main display and a 6.3-inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120Hz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the Special Edition is made with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus, even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, the Special Edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16 gigabytes of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12 gigabytes. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512 gigabytes of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4,400 mA unit, although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200 megapixel main camera compared to the 50 megapixel sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the four megapixel under panel camera. The special edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The special edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the special edition will be priced at around 2,789,600 won or $2,036, while the 512 gigabytes Fold 6 goes for 2,388,100 won or $1,743. Ultimately, the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 200 megapixel camera. But if S Pen support is important to you, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 might still be the better choice. Either way, both of these foldables are top-tier devices, each with its own strengths.
Today, we're diving into a monumental shift in the smartphone landscape, an era defined by Samsung and Android supremacy. What you're about to see is not a PlayStation console in action. It's the groundbreaking performance of Snapdragon's latest GPU using Unreal Engine Night. Yes, this is the heart of the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and its performance is simply mind-blowing. Qualcomm has taken everything great about the Gen 3 and pushed it to the extreme, creating a chipset that is not only faster, but far more efficient. Let's talk numbers. The Snapdragon 8 Elite boasts a 44% faster CPU, a 40% faster GPU, and a 45% increase in NPU performance compared to last year's Gen 3. It's also 40% more power efficient, which means more performance while consuming less battery. And what makes this even more special is Qualcomm's custom Orion CPU cores, which deliver performance on par with PC-level processing power. This is why they've moved from calling it the Gen series to now the Elite. And make no mistake, the Elite truly lives up to its name. This is on a completely different level from what we see in the iPhone 16 Pro Max. There's actual footage of the Snapdragon 8 Elite running Assassin's Creed at console level quality. Just let that sink in. The GPU on the Snapdragon 8 Elite is hands down the most powerful we've ever seen in a phone, making the Galaxy S25 Ultra a genuine console gaming powerhouse in your pocket. But it's not just about gaming. Samsung and Qualcomm are pushing boundaries in other areas as well, particularly in artificial intelligence. The Snapdragon 8 Elite, combined with Samsung's second-generation Galaxy AI, brings some insane new features. One of the most jaw-dropping is the AI Assistant's ability to interact directly with the phone's camera. Imagine this. You point your camera at a receipt, ask a question in real time, and within seconds, the AI gives you an answer. This all happens on device instantly. It's futuristic and incredibly useful. And that's not all. Remember the image erasing feature for photos? Well, with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, you can now do that with videos. Yes, you heard that right. Erase unwanted objects from videos on your device in real time. All thanks to the Snapdragon Elite's 35% faster AI ASP camera unit, which also handles photo capture from up to 320 megapixel sensors. Samsung's 200 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S25 Ultra is already incredible. But with this new ISP, we're about to see it perform at an even higher level. Samsung is also making significant improvements in video capture. Rumor has it that the video quality on the S25 Ultra will blow the S24 Ultra out of the water, and it's all thanks to this powerful new ISP. With the Snapdragon 8 Elite's camera capabilities, Samsung has everything it needs to set a new standard in mobile video performance. As always, Samsung will likely offer some exclusive online-only colors as well, expanding the portfolio even further. As we edge closer to the official launch, more leaks are surfacing. We now have physical leaks of the Galaxy S25 Ultra's design with screen protectors for both the S25 Ultra and S25 Plus making the rounds online. These confirm that Samsung has made the edges more rounded, a subtle but noticeable design change that's sure to appeal to many. So that's everything we know so far about the Galaxy S25 Ultra and this Snapdragon 8 Elite. What do you think of the new chip's performance and the design changes? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates as we get closer to the release. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.